Hi everyone, we are at the part 19 of our ABET exam preparations and the topic is about principles and types of schedules of reinforcement and punishment. So we will cover what reinforcement and punishment are and we will cover the principles and types of schedules. Now what is reinforcement? Reinforcement is reinforcing. So it means it is increasing. Increasing what? The future probability of a behavior, the likelihood of a behavior that it will happen in future. So reinforcement is about increasing the likelihood of a behavior and punishment is about decreasing the likelihood of a behavior. Reinforcement can be positive and negative. So whenever we talk about positives, whether it's uh, reinforcement or punishment, we say that we are adding something. And whenever we talk about negative, either it reinforcement or punishment, we talk about removing something. So positive reinforcement, which means adding something to increase the likelihood of a behavior. For example, giving a reward or praise so the behavior happens again. Negative reinforcement would be removing something, removing an unpleasant stimulus to increase the desired behavior to reinforce it. For example, stopping loud noise after a correct response. Now punishment was to decrease the likelihood of a behavior. It also can be positive and negative. So positive punishment would be adding an unpleasant stimulus to decrease the probability of behavior and negative punishment would be removing a pleasant stimulus because if you remove an unpleasant stimulus then the behavior is more likely to occur again but you have to decrease the behavior so you would be removing a pleasant stimulus as a punishment to decrease the occurrence of behavior for example taking away privileges removing removing privileges to decrease undesired behavior now coming towards the schedule of reinforcement types of schedules these are for reinforcement it is continuous and intermittent Continuous reinforcement is when you are reinforcing behavior every time it is happening. For example, example you are reinforcing a child for every correct response. You are uh, giving him praise or a reward for every correct response. This would be continuous reinforcement because you are reinforcing it every time the behavior is occurring. Now this schedule is ideal for establishing a new behavior but is less effective for maintaining long term behavior. So, for example, you want to establish a new behavior, you will give reinforcement again and again so the child or the client become habitual of the new behavior. Now, intermittent reinforcement as the name uh, indicates intermittent. So the, uh, so, the reinforcement is provided sometimes the behavior is occurring. This type of reinforcement is more resistant to extinction and more effective for maintaining established behavior because the client don't know when he would be getting reinforcement so will um, so he will keep trying to uh, continue the behavior uh, continue the desired behavior or continue to uh, or continue to decrease the undesired one because he don't know when the behavior would be reinforced so he would be try to keep uh, repeating it in hope of reinforcement and this way, this type of reinforcement is resistant to extinction and is more effective for long-term behavior. There are main four types of intermittent reinforcement schedule. These are fixed ratio, variable ratio, fixed interval, and variable interval. The ratio is related to response and interval is related to time. And fixed as you can see after a set number of anything and variable varying number unpredictable number so fixed ratio which means you will get reinforcement after a set number of responses for example I say that uh, this behavior will be rewarded after every 5 FR which means 5 correct responses the 5 is fixed it is a set number already decided. So fixed ratio, ratio would be responses. So after every five correct responses, the fifth one will be 
rewarded it would be a fixed ratio so if you see any uh, so if you see any report indicating that the child is receiving 10 fr it would mean that the child is receiving reinforcement after every 10th correct response now variable ratio would be reinforcement after an unpredictable number of responses you don't know the number would be varying also this schedule is most resistant to extinction this is also a reported fcq uh, about which schedule is more resistant to extinction it would be variable ratio because you don't know where you would be getting rewarded uh, the reward is given uh, given after the reward is given after an unpredictable number of responses after varying number of responses and uh, for variable ratio or for variable interval we find average response we find average ratio we find average interval you are giving client reinforcement after third correct response then after fifth current res uh, correct response and then after fourth correct response you will add all these number three five four this would be 12 now the 12 would be divided by the total number of reinforcement which was 3 12 divided by 3 it would be 4 so average would be 4 and we will say that the average of VR uh, that the client is getting is 4 4 VR so it would be average it does not mean that the client is getting reinforcement after every correct fourth response but it is the average of all the response reinforcement now same goes for the fixed interval reinforcement is provided after a fixed amount of time so for interval we don't uh, focus on the responses we focus on the time for example the client will get reinforcement after every 10 fi so it would mean that the client will, uh, will get reinforcement after 10 minutes whether uh, and this would be regardless of the number of responses because we are focusing on the interval we are focusing on the time variable interval reinforcement occurs after an unpredictable amount of time has passed here the schedules of punishment are not clearly mentioned anywhere but same uh, but the same schedules fr punishment vr punishment fi punishment or vi punishment but basically we call these schedules of reinforcement now coming towards the mcqs which of the following is an example of positive reinforcement a student is praised for completing their assignments on time negative reinforcement involves removing an unpleasant stimulus to increase behavior which of the following is an example of negative punishment A teenager is grounded after breaking curfew. Which reinforcement schedule leads to behavior that is most resistant to extinction? Variable ratio VR. Which of the following best describes a fixed interval FI schedule of reinforcement? A reward is given after a fixed amount of time has passed regardless of responses. So this was all about, thank you for watching.